What's up guys, we're back with the latest scoop. Samsung's next big thing, the Galaxy S22, is back in the leaks. We've got some fresh new leaks coming via South Korean sources spilling the beans regarding Samsung's big controversial decision. But before we get into that, Samsung's best shot has finally arrived. This year, Samsung has a golden chance to surpass or level Apple once and for all. The next flagship Apple chip, the A15, is reportedly going into mass production very soon. According to the reports, it's still going to be based on a 5 nanometer architecture and it's expected to be only 5% faster than Apple A14 from last year. This is truly Samsung's golden chance to surpass Apple. We have already seen the early alleged benchmarks of Samsung X AMD GPUs surpassing Apple A14 comfortably in some GPU based benchmarks. Again, considering how little improvement A15 is bringing, this is definitely Samsung's best opportunity. Apple has been on the top of smartphone chip game ever since they released the iPhone 5S with the first 64-bit Apple A7 chip. And since then, they have kept their lead, but this time, things are different. It's not just Samsung, AMD is also joining the fun. So in my opinion, there's never been a better time. If anyone can do it, it's Samsung and AMD. Now coming back to the Korean report, Samsung may have taken a controversial decision regarding the camera of the Galaxy S22. Samsung has reportedly decided not to use a time-of-flight sensor on its next flagship phone. One of the insider mentions that the reason behind this move could be because Samsung doesn't see any major advantage of using a time-of-flight sensor even though they just announced a groundbreaking time-of-flight sensor back in November 2020. The ISOCELL Vision 33D sensor which is very similar to Apple's LiDAR sensor is supposed to make the autofocus faster especially in low-light conditions, enhance the AR VR capabilities and improve the bokeh with the portrait mode and even the portrait video mode. Despite Samsung literally announcing this, it's actually pretty surprising that they're not using it on their own smartphone. Smartphone. In fact, the report says that Samsung will offer this to other brands. Now, Apple, as we know, they're still going to bring their LiDAR sensor on the upcoming iPhone 13 lineup. Because of the LiDAR sensor, the new iPhone 12 Pro series can do night mode with portrait mode, something that the S21 Ultra cannot do. Let's see if Samsung decides to change their mind in the future, but as of now, they're not too sure about the TOF lens and they're probably going to rely on the main camera and their software algorithm. Now make no mistake, Galaxy S22 Ultra will bring huge camera gains. There's a reason why Samsung, the company who just made the world's biggest smartphone sensor, they're collaborating with an actual camera brand named Olympus. Samsung is definitely not doing this for cloud or anything unlike some other brands. There's definitely some meaningful motive behind this and we're soon going to see on the next flagship Galaxy S phone. And just to remind you that Samsung is working hard to put the underscreen camera on the Galaxy Z Fold 3. This obviously means that next year's Galaxy S22 series and even the Note 22 series will get an under display camera treatment. Now lastly, coming back to the present, Samsung is bringing two new tablets very soon. We've got two budget tablets aka Galaxy Tab A and Galaxy Tab S7 Lite. What you're looking at right now is the official press render again coming via courtesy of EvLeaks. Also that PC Unpacked event is indeed happening on 28th April as it's officially announced. Looking forward to that, let me know your thoughts regarding everything. What do you think about Samsung's decision on not using a time of flight sensor, especially their newly announced ISOCELL Vision 33D sensor? Drop a comment. If you guys are new here, be sure to subscribe and I'll see you guys in the next one. One. Peace out.